This is an example of animations using F5. Uh, I've already preloaded uh, an animation of the surface dew points. Animations are a useful way to look off into the future and pick out a specific system or an environment that you might want to home in on. For example, I like to use uh, something like this where I'm animating dew points into the future and I can see when moisture gets up in Minnesota. Uh, when I see that a certain amount of moisture gets here then I can pause and I can look at that uh, time period in more detail and see if that means that there's going to be severe weather or what that means exactly. So that's what an animation looks like. I'm gonna now show you how to set up an animation. The time strip up here in the menu bar is how you control your animation. For now I'm gonna turn it off by hitting the on button and that shuts the animation off. If I wanted to create a new animation, let's start over as if we didn't create anything so far. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're just, we, we pick our model and our forecast period. Now the forecast period actually isn't going to matter at this point. You can pick anything just to get things started. Now let's say we wanted to do uh, a jet stream animation. So we'll go under shear, we'll bring up 300 millibar wind speed, and then to do the animation you go up to the time strip and you select your start and end period. Now right now I've got the NAM WERF computer model so uh, the farthest out I can go is 84 hours so if I wanted to do that I start out at 0 and go to 84. If I wanted to start and just do tomorrow uh, I could go 24 to 48. I could do a slot in the future. I could do any of that. Well, let's just do 0 to 84 and then to start the animation you push this off button which will change it to be on. Now it's going to take a little time to animate. It has to download all of the files and it has to take that data and render an image from it. Now, that process takes a lot longer than just pulling up images off of the internet because those are already pre-made for you. As you'll see down in the the status bar it says download complete rendering, download complete rendering. It's doing that for each time period. If you look in the upper left, you'll see 15 hour forecast, 18 hour forecast. So that increments as it does each frame of the animation. When it's done with the animation, it will immediately start. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind. Uh, you can do the constraint time period. So if you went up to your time strip and you went from 24 to 48, you would only have a day's worth of animating. Now, that'll be useful because you maybe don't want the whole model uh, and it'll also be faster to load if you pick a specific time period. Also it's faster if you don't load any labels or outlining on the graphic. If you're just in it for the data it's a lot quicker to to do it with just shading or just being contoured and the reason being is when you have a shaded map with outlines or labels you're actually overlaying two layers onto one map so you're creating twice as much work to create the animation. Also the animation is only going to be as fast as your processor is able to handle because this is not images this is vector data it's actually drawing a bunch of shapes on your map. It takes a little bit to animate it if you have a slower computer but if you zoom in on a portion of the map which you can do while it's animating it'll actually go faster because there's not as much data that it has to redraw with each frame. Also, if you go up into the, the menu bar, these two green arrows will allow you to step through each frame. Now that you've preloaded all your data, it makes it nice and easy to step through each data. So you can see you do that, and it will pause the animation and let you go forward and back in time. Additionally, you can zoom out, you can pan around, and you could do this while the animation is animating as well and not just paused. If you wanted to restart that animation, you just go to the time strip and you hit the pause button, which will start it back up again. To stop your animation, you just go to the time strip and you push the on button so that it turns off.